First, I apologize for not posting yesterday, but this happened. So this happened to my laptop charger. I mean, it was all right until I tried fixing it. And then this happened. It just popped out and broke. I thought it fixed it, but so again, I apologize, but I'm going to make it up to you. I will drop a mega vlog tomorrow, combining two vlogs. Hope you like it. Enjoy the vlog today. Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are all well. I'm starting today with an amazing mood. Uh, I, I just had the best news this morning. It just came out out of nowhere uh, by an email all of a sudden. And it just, even though the weather is not so good, it's, it's a bit cloudy. Look. And when it's cloudy, I'm not in a good mood. But today, that email just put me right up in the best mood possible. And I'm just going to pass on the positive vibes on to you guys. But before I tell you all about that email, I'm going to take you to one of the most exclusive areas of London. It's basically, it's where the billionaires in the world live. So follow me. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Okay, guys, where I'm going to take you, you can't actually take your car with you. So I'm going to film it. I had to park the car and walk there. Basically, it's just uh, across the road, so let's go. I think cameras aren't a lot actually, but let's see. We'll, 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 take, we'll film it anyway, we'll vlog it. This is the problem with London weather. It's always colder than it looks, so I had to quickly grab my jacket again, but uh, let's carry on. This road here, let's go and see. This is it. Uh oh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Shall I risk it? Let's just go. Sorry for the bad quality, but I am just going to go risk my life, risk being in prison for the vlog. What can I do? Oh, I just passed the security guards. So, all right, let me give you a bit of an idea. Basically, okay, UK's richest man, Mr. Mittal, he lives on this road. Oh, here's the Saudi embassy building. They are just huge, but they have, basically they're trying to color it as much as they can. But these houses are just amazing here. Look, look. Basically, the most expensive houses in the UK and I actually read somewhere that these are uh, the most expensive houses in the world I'm going to tell you something that Mr. Mattel lives here uh, he's the richest man in the UK back in 2008 which is say nine years ago his son 
made an offer for one of these houses on this road for 200 million pounds and that offer was rejected and that was nine years ago so just imagine how much the prices are right now <sighs> look Basically, they are, they've made them embassies, but you still get individuals living here. To be honest, I'm still a bit scared because this, this road is fully gated and cameras are not allowed. So I'm getting, uh, I'm basically I get people walking past me and I'm scared they might report me. Wow. Okay. This is one of the houses. This is just amazing. Yes, sir. You can't do that. Sir. I'm just. We have no to do that. Okay. Are you a uh, security? Yes, please. Turn okay. Did you see that, guys? Oof. Let's let's switch it off before we get arrested. Okay, guys. Let's let's quickly carry on before the security catches up again. Actually, you have the House of Prince Williams within walking distance of this place. So, yeah, it's not on this road, but it's within walking distance. Oh, the gate's opening. Let's run. Let me tell you the story of this house. Quickly, which one of you watches football? Well, if you do watch football and you know about Chelsea Football Club, watch this. This is the house of Roman Abramovich. That's where he lives. And that's his view. And this one is just they have construction going on so they cover it up so this is all fake now we're getting close to number six number six on this road is where the richest guy in the uk lives and you see it's all covered up you can't really see anything but that's his house but i think because of construction they've covered it up and we are definitely getting very close to the danger zone over though it's definitely it's like a no photography no recording anything uh, like there is police always standing there with guns and i really don't want to get shot so i'm just going to close this till we get past it <laughs> let's just let's just go go to the park before we get arrested let's just i, I really don't want to risk it yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was like the most exclusive roads in London. Heavily guarded. And yeah, I think I just did something illegal. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. We do it for the vlog. Okay guys, coming straight up on that road. Now on our left is where William and Kate live so let's go actually that one was even more heavily guarded so it was like a huge sign of no photography and i just please let me stay alive so i just passed the security guards i'm just going to film it for you whoa oh, if we can see anything Oh, 
Good as the gate. Hello. Hello, Billy. Hello, Katie. Say hi to the queen. Okay, guys, to give you an update of my geographical position right now, do you remember we started at the beginning of that private road and then imagine I walked all the way along that private road and then I, towards the end of it, I turned left where there was Kensington Palace. So I turned left there and then I turned right at the end of that road again. Then I turned right again. Well, to cut the story short, we are at the other end of that road. Do you see? Let's run before we get arrested. Okay guys, um, I don't know if I actually told you, I used to go to the gym every day, right until like six, seven months ago. But uh, yeah, I'm actually at this shop where they sell gym stuff. And I'm really tempted to be honest with you, just to, uh, well, I'm going through their stuff. And look what I found. These are, oops. Massage balls. What is that? I'm not, I'm not going to lie actually, but they feel they feel pretty good. Oh come on guys, right next to the sports section, they put this much marshmallows for sale. That, that's just unfair. Completely unfair. Look how huge this is. That's my hand. You know what? I saw this, but I just wanted this one. Oh, wow. Look how huge this one is. This much marshmallow and this much chocolate eggs. Okay, guys, I was in the area and I thought I might as well do some house shopping, grocery shopping. I'm actually in this shop that has the healthiest foods. Let me show you. Oops. Starting from the most unhealthy things. Uh, but yeah. You know what? This room I stay away from. It just smells bad. It's the cheese room. Uh, you have the hot food here. Japanese ice cream section basically these are bowls of rice with ice cream in the middle mm, I'm not sure I'm not sure about that but I'll tell you what the pizzas look amazing I'll have one of those coffee time again thank you one of my favorite places in London. It just looks nice. And that's Hyde Park, by the way. I think I've shown it to you guys already. But, facts about me I love walking, I love my coffee, and I love good food. So, these three things, if you put them together, I'm the happiest person in life. This is, this is one of the reasons I tend to walk a lot. And basically I tend to explore a lot of areas and every day I have usually two to three coffees and food who doesn't like food okay guys just because of you I crossed the road and I came I wanted to show you how huge this statue is look at me look at this trust me it's huge I am super tired. I've just I've been walking for straight three hours back to where I started. And yeah, just check my phone. I think I I just walked well over 9,000 steps. Walking towards the car. Uh, I need to go home, need to eat, shower and rest. 
and start editing video. So I will see you guys at home. Okay guys, I'm finally home. Knackered, very tired. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more updates. I'm, I'm actually planning to visit everywhere in London, especially those secretive places. Uh, I'm actually planning to travel very soon, which I will be taking you with me. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, on the other hand, you remember I told you about this great news that lifted up my mood exponentially this morning? Basically, what it is, I was, for the first time in my life, I was headhunted by a financial company. Whoa, where did that even come from? Um, I wasn't even looking for a job, but they they approached me, they asked me to go see them. So I'm actually going to see them in a couple of days time, which I will be taking you with me to show you what the process is uh, about finding a job in the UK. Um, to be honest with you, it's, it's not going to be as accurate because they approached me, so I'm almost halfway there, but they still would like to see me and talk to me and everything, which I will show you if I can, hopefully. Uh, but for now, yeah, that was it from me. Uh, take care of yourselves, stay positive, and until tomorrow, see you later. Bye.